begin to pacify the hellish climate. The tides affect the speed of rotation of our planet, eventually lengthening a day from six to 24 hours. As the Earth's rotation slows, the atmosphere ceases to whip around the globe. Hurricane strength winds are no longer the norm, and more complex life forms evolve in the relative peace and calm of our planet. I really think that we owe the moon our existence today. Without it, the world would have evolved differently, and as a result, we would have evolved differently. We would not be the creatures we are. The power of the nearby moon has dramatically reshaped our planet. Over the next three billion years, the moon continues its journey out into space. The moon's influence has waned, but hasn't disappeared. Some scientists believe it causes earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. While many laymen still believe that the full moon affects our human behavior in bizarre and inexplicable ways. Today, the moon orbits Earth one quarter of a million miles away. It's 15 times further from Earth than when it first formed. It appears as a distant and mystical object in the sky, and its gravitational pull is far weaker than it used to be. The moon's gravity is now so small that it exerts the same upwards pull as a pea held about 20 inches above your head. But some people still believe that even this weak power from the moon affects human behavior. The moon's 29-day orbit around the Earth is called the lunar cycle. During the lunar cycle, the appearance of the moon changes because it is constantly moving relative to the sun and Earth. The full moon has long been associated with mystery, aggression, and horror. Studies show that the behavior of some animals changes during the lunar cycle. Some creatures' whole breeding cycle is dictated by the moon. Scientists have investigated the link between predation and the full moon. Researchers think that the increased moonlight helps some nocturnal hunters track and kill their prey, although the idea that wolves howl more often on a full moon is nothing more than a myth. Yet, if some mammals do become more active at full moon, might this aggressive lunar trait extend to humans? The streets of San Francisco. Officers Healy and Mahoney of the San Francisco Police Department gear up for another night patrolling the town. They have been policing the tough Tenderloin District for the past 10 years. But this is no ordinary night. It's a full moon. And on a full moon, things definitely feel a bit hotter. So I think some of the clientele we deal with, they think it's a full moon every day, I think. But it, there's a noticeable difference. You could pretty much ask anybody who works in, you know, service jobs like police, fire, paramedics, hospital workers. They'll, they'll all tell you that during, during the times of the full moon, business just goes up. But is there any scientific evidence of human behavior being affected by the moon? In 1976, the American Journal of Psychology studied 34,318 crimes and found they occurred more frequently at full moon. A year later, 
researchers studying 18,495 psychiatric patients found that hospital admissions peaked during a new moon. However, a series of more recent studies reveals no link between human behavior and the lunar cycle. And yet many people still believe in the power of the full moon, possibly because of horror movies and folklore. For generations, we have been led to believe that murder, death, and even mythical creatures such as werewolves are linked to the full moon. It's not surprising that over time, we start to believe the link is true. And the myth of the full moon is kept alive. The effects of the moon on humans may be minimal, but some scientists believe that its gravity still exerts a major influence on the planet itself. It's not only the moon's appearance that alters with the lunar cycle. Its gravitational pull varies as well. At new moon, when the sun and moon are aligned, their combined gravity tugs even more than usual on the Earth. As the moon makes its way around the Earth, it pulls us in different directions. When there is a full moon, the sun and moon pull in opposite directions, in a kind of astronomical tug of war. For most of the lunar cycle, there is no danger for Earth. But when the sun and moon are aligned, their combined gravity creates the maximum stress on the Earth's crust. Some scientists suggest that this can trigger devastating natural phenomena. Volcanologists Steve and Donna O'Meara use this cycle to help them predict eruptions. While other scientists check sulfur levels and study seismographic data to predict eruptions, Steve and Donna plot the position of the moon, which they believe has the power to trigger eruptions at certain points in its orbit. The O'Meara's believe that in the complicated cycle of tugs and pulls from the sun and moon, increased stress can distort molten rock under the Earth. At the crust's most unstable points, where volcanoes form, the pressure sometimes becomes too much and triggers an eruption. The Omira's Eureka moment comes in 1996 on an expedition to an erupting volcano called Arenal in Costa Rica. Well, the coolest thing is that all volcanoes are different. They're just like people. They have different personalities. I mean, obviously, there's different types of scientific volcanoes. This is a shield volcano, which has very fluid eruptions. Strato volcanoes have huge eruptions. Um, and volcanoes, we've, we've actually gotten to know some. And like Arenal volcano, we call it the brat, because it's just always <laughs> During their two-week expedition, Arenal lives up to its nickname, erupting 15 times. They realize that the biggest eruptions occur whenever the moon is directly overhead. By tracking the moon's position over Arenal, the Omiras predict eruptions with an accuracy of 80%, a pinpoint accuracy unparalleled in the world of volcanology. In one of them, we in fact woke the villagers and told them that, get prepared, there's gonna be an eruption at you know 12.30 and bang, 12.30, the thing erupted right on schedule. Since 1996, the O'Meara's claim to have used the moon to correctly predict eruptions all around the world. Either I have to be the luckiest person on Earth or the moon is affecting volcanic eruptions. But the moon may trigger natural disasters on an even bigger scale than volcanoes. One scientist now believes the moon may have caused two of the worst natural disasters of recent years. the October 2005 earthquake in Pakistan, and the 2004 Asian tsunami. Today, 
The moon is still on its journey, edging away from Earth at 1.5 inches per year.